The scene is set exactly according to the myth. We have one not-so-smart man, Buster, who's crawled down a three-foot-wide drainage pipe chasing a raccoon. Like that. There we like go. Like this? Yeah. The raccoon's probably all the way at the very end, you know, up against like a steel grate or something like that. So he's probably like right here, trying to be as threatening as a raccoon soaked with gasoline can be. OK. Let me get my uh, automatic match. The Mythbusters team gets ready for launch. Cameras will cover it from every angle. Sensitive equipment is protected by a bulletproof plastic shield. A baby fire truck is at the ready. And it's Big Daddy, just in case. Excited, we're gonna blow some stuff up, then we go home. Now, Jamie adds the final element, five gallons of gasoline. Okay, it's kind of a lot. Oh, it's kind of really a lot. It's a lot of gasoline pouring out of there. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. All right, get out of there. Okay, here we go. Standing over here with me, Jamie? Yeah. In three, two, one. Zero. Nothing happens. Tell me if you see it lighting. Yeah, I don't see any, uh, any flame. Hold Seems on. that pesky raccoon slipped down onto the lighter. Right. He's repositioned, and we are clear for launch. OK, here we go. There we go. We have ignition. Put it out now. Go. Well, that wasn't nothing at all. Nope. That was like a little campfire. Well, it probably would have set the whole uh, tube on fire after a while. It uh, singed the heck out of our uh, let's, uh, raccoon. Let's see how our raccoon did. That's one piping hot toy raccoon, all oh. right, but not much else, and certainly not enough to satisfy the destructive desires of these two strange men. The myth is, in fact, busted. But there's always two parts to a Mythbusters story. There's replicating the myth, and then there's duplicating the result. And we replicated the myth, we got nothing. Now it's time to see what it takes to launch him out of that tube. In the world of weaponry, a sabot is used when a specialized bullet or projectile is too small for the barrel of a gun. The sabot fits around the bullet to seal the chamber so the blast from the gunpowder can send it firing out of the barrel. It's hard enough remembering how to say sabot. Now, Jamie has to work out what to make one from. That's about two feet, so darn, that tube's big. It's going to make me work. Oh, <laughs> Jamie, that's beautiful. Easy as pie. But, uh, usually things don't work this easy. 35, jeez, you're within a quarter inch. Yeah, seems like it should be perfect. So. Without this thing, gases would just go past the dummy and not propel him. With it, it blocks the chamber, and hopefully it will carry the dummy with it out of the barrel. The sabot will fall away in its uh, four parts as we've designed it, and the dummy will continue on his trajectory. Let's hope the plan stays on target, because back on the firing range, we are now working with dangerous explosives. Second circuit just to the end of the tube here, and then if we have a problem with the first circuit, we'll just tie into this. Sounds good, so I'll tie this on first. Yeah. We want to fire a 180-pound projectile 200 feet. So, how much gunpowder will we need? Well, in World War II, the guns of the mighty U.S. battleship Missouri used 660 pounds of explosive powder to launch 2,700-pound projectiles with a range of up to 23 miles. There are no records of raccoons being present on the USS Missouri. Back up on the backup. Preparing to launch. John McCloud normally creates pyrotechnics for Hollywood films. Today, he's cooking up a different kind of blockbuster. We're using 10 one-pound cans of the Go-X black powder. That should give us a pretty good bang. Buster is locked in the sabot and loaded into the pipe. OK. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. OK, we need a little more push here. All right, here we go. OK, ready? That's good, right? Well, that's tight, huh? That's pretty good. Cue the bomb. So that's the 10-pounder, isn't it? It's a 10-pounder. Don't look like much. Not until it goes off. The local geese are heading south to safety. You think they can tell we're about to blow something up? 
John will use an electric detonator to ignite the powder. With the wiring all checked, it's time to seal the end of the pipe. Look at that, that's perfect. All right, I'm gonna bury it. The pipe must be plugged to direct the force from the blast towards Buster and send him out the other end of the tube. Will it work? That's in the lap of the gunpowder gods. I think if any, the worst thing that could happen was it would, it would rupture the back end of the tube and maybe shoot dirt and sand and possibly little rocks. It's also, I'd say, 50% likely that it stays back there in the tube and the whole thing just blows up. That's totally acceptable to me as well. The whole damn thing could blow up for all we know, but uh, our best shot is that it's going to come out of there and it's going to come out really fast and it's going to look really cool. Jamie is so confident, he's parking Buster's wheelchair right where he thinks he'll land. Jamie, are you hoping to catch him? Yeah. All right, that's about the most optimistic thing I've ever heard. <laughs> if you catch him, I'll give you $100. OK, let's put this Big Bang Theory into practice. You, got some, you want to put some protection on there? Uh, I think I'm all right. <laughs> he thinks he's all right. <laughs> oh my god. I almost made the chair. You almost made the chair. <laughs> We've got two very excited Mythbusters on our hands. He survived. <laughs> Buster no, survived. No, oh. Woo. Came out there with some That's horsepower. Oh. How are you yeah. feeling, buddy? It worked absolutely perfectly. I'm, I was off by about five or ten feet. <laughs> Buster heroically executed a textbook superhero style exit from the cannon. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I, I gotta say, I think we planned this whole thing really well. The Sabot worked. He did launch a significant distance out of the barrel. The myth says 200 feet that the guy lived. I tell you, watching that dummy land, there's no way he would have lived at that distance, let alone that distance again. I, this myth is just, I mean, complete and utter lunacy to think that it's true. Well, Buster, how you feeling, man? What do you think? Raccoon rocket true or busted? What do you think, Jamie? I'd say it's pretty effectively busted. You know, uh, we would have died if we'd been in Buster's place, that's for sure. <laughs> Man, he is a little worse for wear. <laughs>